Fora TV. The world is thinking. Let me put several data points in front of you. The Economist estimates right now that there are three and a half billion cell phone contracts in the world. Now maybe a lot of people billion. Have three and a half billion. Now maybe a lot of people have more than one cell phone contract. But the reality is within 10 years, the majority of the world's population will have at least cell phone connectivity at 3G, 4G broadband speed. Data point number one. Uh, data point number two, uh, my university is the lead university in what's called the Google Book Scan Project. Yeah. Uh, Google is scanning our library. They're about two thirds through and scanning an eight million volume library. They'll finish in 2010. We're one of 25 universities around the world that they're scanning, including all the Big Ten. They won't tell you how many they've scanned so far, but we think it's well above 10 million. Uh, those 25 libraries represent, if they were to scan their complete collections, about 60% of the printed material in the world today. Okay. Okay? Now, although they're scanning and making available full text searches, not allowing you to read everything, but at least know where it is, uh, w there have recently been negotiations with the publishers that will provide full text access to much of that. So that's the second point. The third point is that the faculty on many of our campuses are now beginning to realize that knowledge, their, their teaching activities and so forth, is something that should be given away to the world as a public good. This started at MIT with what they call the Open Courseware Initiative, where the, the digital assets undergirding all 2,000 of their courses are now online and available to anybody. Okay? There are now 400 universities around the world, 7,000 courses. Yale is streaming its 30 most popular courses and high quality video. My university is putting its entire medical curriculum on the web primarily for Sub-Saharan Africa. So that's the third data point. So imagine a world uh, not simply in the lifetime of our students, but in your lifetime, increasing a hundred to a thousand fold in power decade after decade after decade, okay? Virtual reality, am I real or a hologram? Well, 10 to 20 years, you won't be able to tell. Yeah. So that, so over the last 10 years, what we've, I mean, we can question what's the future of the university, what's the future of the corporation, the nation state, but I think much more interesting is the question, what kind of spontaneous emergence of social institutions will occur? Uh, Google, Amazon, Al-Qaeda, yeah. things we can't even imagine, yeah. good and bad, yeah. okay? That's our future. And that's the future we have to somehow shape and prepare people yeah. for. What's a university in that future? I don't know, yeah. but since it's based on knowledge, we do have some role. Yeah.